Books don't mix with water. A Parts of Both Alternate Universe Fan Fiction, Part 17. Uh, so you want to introduce me? The girl said slightly awkwardly. <laughs> Annabeth straightened her posture when she looked at her. The girl was a way shorter than her and had frizzy red hair. It was curly like her own blonde locks, but it had about 80 times the volume and somehow looked effortlessly good. Yeah, Percy, remember that? Annabeth said, trying to keep the bitter notes out of her tone. Annabeth was not a jealous person and totally was not jealous right now. Maybe. The girl looked at her with interest. Oh, um, Ra Rachel, this is Annabeth. She is, uh, a, a really close friend, Percy said, motioning to her. She gave a small wave. Hi, I'm Rachel Elizabeth Dare, she said with a friendly smile. Oh, she's pretty nice, Annabeth thought, letting go of some of the meanness and shaking your hand. I don't believe I've ever heard of you before now, though. Never mind. Annabeth's lips drew into a small frown. Rachel looked at Percy with some kind of look and wiggled her eyebrows, which made Percy sputter and blush and turn away. So, how long have you been friends with Percy? Rachel asked, turning towards her. Annabeth's fist hand bawled. Oh, girl, no. Did she just... No, she pulled that- she pulled that move! She pulled that move! That's not okay! Beginning of the year, she replied with a bit more harshness than necessary. Rachel nodded, but looked puzzled. Did he annoy you at first? Yeah, but now he's good company. He does that. Cute laugh that now bothered her for the sole reason that it was Rachel laughing. I know! Annabeth tried for a smile, but it really, but didn't find the heart to fake it that much. Suddenly, there was an influx of people running and screaming at them. Rachel sent a look to Percy, who. Rachel sent a look to Percy. Oh my God! They could read each other's looks. That was so unfair. And he shrugged with an unsorry grin. I got excited and called everyone. He said shamelessly. Rachel shook her head, making her hair fly up and dang it. It looked really good waving it looked really good waving around you know her hair that's very unfair annabeth looked like she was trying to become a wind turbine when she was waving her head around she clicked her tongue a couple of times you're back leo shouted wrapping rachel into a giant hug yeah she said with a laugh nice to see that you care Leo grinned and let her go. Wow, she was already close with the rest of Percy's friends. Wonderful! Note the high levels of sarcasm. Annabeth wanted to scoff but found it unimportant when she noted that her one and only Piper was walking over with Grace and Grace by her side. You better have an explanation ready for me, Annabeth threatened. Piper went pink and mumbled that he had asked her out for an impromptu picnic. And you didn't tell me? Annabeth said very offendedly. Piper rolled her eyes. I texted you, but because calling you would A, be time away from my picnic with Jason, which is now over, and B, you're off on your little picnic with Percy, so it's not really my fault you don't check your phone when you're with him. Now, Annabeth was blushing, and she shoved her friend away. They turned back to look at the boys and Rachel, who was getting progressively louder. The brunette hummed in interest. So, who's the new girl that just happens to be bros with the boys? Rachel Elizabeth Dare. Full name already? Wow, that's a whole different level of angry jealous stalking, Piper joked. Annabeth whipped her head and her admittedly less pretty curls when compared to Rachel, at least, looking scandalized. I'm not jealous, she insisted stubbornly. Piper snorted. Really? Because that little furled brow and tightened lips of yours are telling differently. Piper motioned to the parts of her face as she spoke about them. 
The blonde batted her hands away. Shut up, she grumbled. I just don't like her. Piper raised an amused brow. She seems nice, Piper objected. Anne Beth looked at her dead in the eye. She said, I haven't ever heard about you, she deadpanned. Now Piper looked offended. Huh. She doesn't seem like the type of girl that does stuff like that, she said thoughtfully. Annabeth scoffed. They never looked the part. Always the unexpected one. I mean, who would ever think that the tomboy brunette was really a, print, a makeup and body language reading master, even if you don't like the former? Piper scowled, but Annabeth ignored it. And I look like a Kelly Beach girl. Rachel may not look like a pick-me girl, but she can be one. Annabeth reasoned. Piper placed a hand on her shoulder and shook her head. You need to be less cynical. Whatever. They watched as the talking turned into screaming about something. She really didn't know what was going on because it was mostly incoherent shrieking. I watched it. Okay, did you really think I was going to leave you all high and dry and not hang on to your every move? Annabeth basically growled when she saw Rachel nudge Percy's side. Don't be so jealous, Piper whispered to her. She could just be close friends with them. Annabeth took a breath. That was true. They could just all be bros. She had to take that into account for sake of her own sanity. Rachel began to ramble about things that Annabeth vaguely remembered, but for once in her life, she did not understand. What are they talking about? Piper asked. Annabeth gritted her teeth. Surfing. God. Of all things she understood, surfing. God, of all the things she understands, surfing. You know, the one thing I never got. Not after all the videos and websites and Google searches and... Ugh, screw her. Understander of surfing. Annabeth ranted lowly to her best friend. Piper snickered. You're so jealous. And over searching. Surfing. It's literally just surfing. She said. Annabeth glared at her but provided no answer. It's all fine. It's literally surfing. Maybe she's just been friends with them for a while and learned along with them. Not everyone has to understand everything, Piper said, trying to sound comforting. Annabeth sighed in defeat and tiredness. Okay. It was kind of sad that the thing that she that got her was that Percy was that Rachel understood how surfing and surf competitions worked, but she didn't. That was very sad actually. But then again, Annabeth was a smart person. She knew most things. She understood most things. And after all, she prided herself on her mind and ability to learn anything. But surfing Apparently, yeah, that did not come to her. She understands surf terms. That's what gets you. Apparently.